Jesus has broken the curse. He has never lost. He has never lost a battle. And who are you, great? Who are you, great? Who are you, great? Who are you? You gotta speak to it. Who are you, great? You won't defeat me this year. Peter chapter 6 chapter 5 verse number 6 Peter says humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God so that at the proper time he may Ella excuse me he may exalt you somebody don't say amen to the reading of God's word today I'm going to teach I'm going to preach with this thought in our hearts and in our minds uh, the state of the church address uh, the year of elevation there's some enemies to elevation there's some enemies to elevate yes it is I'm gonna tell you the first enemy to elevation is something called complacency you you good with just how things are the second enemy to elevation is always being a victim Hey, this mess I'm dealing with right here, this don't got nothing to do with my great great grandma now. This stuff that I'm dealing right here is because God told me no and I said yes anyway. This stuff I'm dealing with right here is because I cussed the supervisor out. You know why I'm getting the unemployment check? Because I wasn't showing up on time. You know why they came and got that car? Because I went and got some red bottom and then paid my car no. Enemy elevation is a lack of candid feedback. I like living my best life. And this may be, and if my best life offends you, you're not trying to give me candid feedback. You a hater. Yeah, tell you another enemy of elevation is thinking that you have it all together. <laughs> I don't need to be elevated or nothing. I'm good. If I, another enemy of elevation is longing for acceptance. Can I tell you, if God has called you to do something significant in the kingdom of God, you cannot be worrying about somebody accepting you. Can I tell you, an enemy of elevation is desiring to get something for nothing. I want to know where your sweat equity is. I want to know where your skin in the game is. I want to know what you're willing to sacrifice. What are you willing to give up? You can't watch all nine seasons of sign fail and expect the anointing of God to be on your life you don't never pray you don't never get in your word but can I tell you if you're desiring God to move in you and through you you got to be able to avail yourself and say On behalf of everyone at Truth and Love Ministries, we want to thank you for joining us for our virtual worship experience. We want to thank you for your likes and your shares, your comments and your emojis. But we also want to invite you to partner with us as we continue to be the hands and the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. You do know that he told us that we ought to feed the hungry, we ought to clothe the naked, and we ought to be the church. And you can help us to continue to do just that through your generosity. And there are three easy, safe, and secure ways that you can do just that. You can text the word T-I-L Jacks, one word, T-I-L Jacks to the number 77977. You can go to our website, www.truthandlove.tv, or you can go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, search for Truth and Love Jacks, Download our app and you can give that way. We thank you for your participation. We thank you for your generosity and we love you and we'll see you next time. Here comes the church. God bless you.